Hey Instagrammers, it's Wayne Stevenson here. For those of you that want to put some automation into your Instagram marketing, I'm going to show you how to install on a Linux system uh, Instabot. It's an excellent um, automation app for building organic followers. So we're going to take the uh, copy the address of the Instabot off the GitHub server and clone it to our desktop. And we're going to go into the Instabot directory. And from there, we just have to do a couple of things to install the dependencies, which are um, small software packages that the bot is going to require in order to operate. We just have to do that for two files yeah, the requirements file, as well as the uh, Instabot.py um, code. It's all automated, which is excellent. We have very little to do ourselves, and it's going to be working flawlessly. It does take a minute to uh, to download and install all the dependencies. Well, there is only a few of them. And if you guys like this uh, contribution, um, maybe think about going to GitHub. Uh, from there, you can donate to some of the... Uh, contributors on there. I think they'd appreciate that. And there you have it. So requirements have all been fulfilled. Now we're gonna run the bot. First time we set it up it's missing a configuration file so it's gonna ask us if we want to set it up. I'm just gonna use um, uh, a fake account here just so that you can see that it's going to set up the configuration file. We'll call it test account and give it a test password. After uh, we run this, I'm going to open up the text file where the configuration is stored so you can see where uh, everything is going into it will end up. And in the configuration here, you can also enter your hashtags. I personally will open up the configuration file afterwards and uh, put my hashtags in that way. I find it a little bit faster. There it is. So I'm going to use a program called Pico. I'm going to open it up. And if you see down towards the bottom, you have the desk account, uh, username, password, some of your software settings. This is basically your preference file. Stores it in here. You can have multiple accounts here. Second time we run the run.py. Um, program. Um, it's going to ask for what account we want and it's going to search the configuration list. So you can have multiple accounts in here. So just give it a second here and uh, there we go. We're running it now. Now it's going to time out, obviously, because we don't have a proper um, username and password for this. So uh, we're just going to quit out of here, and I'll show you in another video how to uh, optimize your preferences. You know, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.